Hello, hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time with me, hi, welcome. So I am currently in the middle of a no buy and I am being critical not only of new releases and whether or not those would be things I would want to bring into my collection, but also being critical of my own collection. Now, we are at a bit of a standstill here. Right now we are looking at all of my lip products. So we're going to take a look at all of them. Now, I was going to wait until the new year to start decluttering things, but I think we're going to start here. We're going to start here. We're going to swatch all of these and we are also going to talk about them, talk about what I'm going to move on from. Not going to work like a regular declutter. I do just want to kind of, I do want to touch. I want to see, I want to swatch everything. So let's just get started off the top. This is a lip product that does not belong to me and it's my friend Tiffany's and I wear, she, I really like this color and she was giving it to me for a temporary time to test run. So I'm not gonna do anything with this, but I do really like the shade. This is the shade and attached from Fenty and it is quite a lovely liquid lipstick. I really like this formula. So noted, keep that clocked. So go set that aside. First things first, I do, I, I, I see some things that I would like to immediately remove. Now, these are both from the glitter lip kits that initially launched back in the day, back, back in the day, and even not even from the same launch. You can tell, just look at, look at the state of this packaging. So I sometimes like to top things off with these if I'm doing like a, a look and these are fun to paint on. I don't, I don't dislike this particular lip gloss formula, but I don't know why Mother doesn't, I guess it's so that you don't get like pigment inside of the, the product, but these are old and I don't reach for them often enough. And so what I'm going to do as a compromise is I'm going to keep one of the clear glosses and then I'm going to throw away these two and then should someone want this one, I can pass it on to them. No need to swatch a clear gloss though, I don't feel. So we'll just, moving right along. I'll probably finish with glosses only because stickiness. I also know that there are two other things that I probably will be getting rid of and it is these two. Again, these came from, no, it's not this one. These came from the original lip sets with the glitters from Pat McGrath. So I have Venom 1 and Venom 2. So this is Venom 1. It is a, it's a blue based red. It was, it precedes Elson, which is Mother's, you know, famous red. It's a beautiful color. I like the finish. I like that it's not matte. It, and it, it's a nice lipstick. And I don't know, I probably didn't use that much of it. No. <laughs> this is, this is the sad reality of being someone who has an exorbitant amount of makeup. But I don't feel comfortable passing these on only because I think I've had them four to five years. <laughs> I'm not really sure when I bought these, so that they're gonna go in the bin. But I'll show you Venom 2. It's interesting, I really love Venom 2. It's a very sultry, just a different color, you know? Very beautiful, but there was, in my head, I was like, I'll just wait till the end of the year, I'll try to use them more, but I just know that's not the reality of my situation, so I'm just gonna move on. But while we're here, I bought these this year. These are from glitter lip kits from Pat McGrath, except these ones were like released in smaller packs. This is a beautiful nude color. This is the shade Rose Desire. Hopefully you can't hear my heater or like the water running. I apologize if you can. This is the shade Blood One. I haven't even used this one yet. See how the Elson is more of a vinyl? This is also definitely has more blue in it than I would say that the this one does. It's hard to pick up on camera the nuances of red sometimes, but they are, their finish is different. And also I think I would like to note like, thank God that Pat McGrath now like puts her label on the thing. These stickers were just not, not it. Now here's another thing I'm probably gonna get rid of. This is a Tom Ford mini and it is in the shade Indian Rose. 
and I really don't need it because these kind of satisfy the same thing and I've kept this one. The one thing I will say is I really do kind of like a luster to my lip most of the time. So this finish is like much more suitable for me. However, this one, I don't know if these dry down matte. I really haven't played with these two that much, but this one does keep its like luster all the time. This was also something that a friend passed on to me for me to try. And I've only really used it a handful of times, so I don't know how old this is. And because of that, we will throw it away as opposed to potentially pass it on. This is from Lancome. This is their Shine Lover in 340. And so it is more like a balm that has like a tint to it. And this is actually very lovely on the lips. And this is one of those lip products that I put on every now and then, and I say, well, wow, isn't that lovely? It looks very great, but I just don't reach for it. They also, they don't make this anymore. I got, this is like a tester that Sephora gave me as gratis. Like I earned it somehow, I don't really know, but like, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is from my first year there. So this is rather old. And it'd be one thing if I've used the old things a lot, even though they're old or like, I feel like I should, like I want to keep using the old product and I will as long as it, smells okay but I'm more thinking of like as far as like passing this on I don't feel comfortable to pass that on for that reason this is something that's going nowhere this is the hourglass red zero confessions lipstick and this is the one that has the vegan carmine in it and I'm just gonna swatch it up here next to my other reds to see if anything feels similar but this is supposed to be like a true red, like not supposed to lean too warm or too cool. It's supposed to be just like right in the neutral, neutral red. Very pretty, very stunning. Love this lipstick. It's beautiful, it's high impact, it's comfortable. It has that sheen that I really like in a lipstick. So this is just like truly a divine color, just divine product. Would love to try more Confessions lipstick, but I think I'm learning really that I'm not a huge lip product person and I have so many specifically just like from gratis. Another thing I got in gratis, this is from YSL. This is a Rouge Pork Tour, I think. Yes, and this is their like red, their red. And theirs is definitely more of an orange red. This has that luster, it's beautiful. I don't wear it often, but I like the formula. This is one of those ones that I have trouble getting rid of because I do really like the packaging. It's not too old, but like I, I, I do like it. I'm gonna set it to the side. If we, if I find another orange red fresher in my collection than this, maybe I won't keep it, but I, I, I like it. So I'm just gonna set it, up, set it aside for a second. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is another thing I received in gratis. This is like a real, this is really orange. It's atomic orange. And so what I like to do with this is I like to put on top of lip liners. So if you remember, if you're familiar with my content, I did, there was a, a couple of videos where I had an ombre lip on and it, it was this on top of a dark brown lip liner. So I actually do use this enough for it to be warranted in my collection. So I will be keeping it, but it's never going to be something that I wear on my own, on its own. It is just, very orange. I can't see anyone. This is a scary color. Sometimes when we would get gratis, the leadership would divide up the products into our like little gratis bins. And I always feel like they would give me the fun colors of the lipsticks because they knew that I would probably at least try it. So I think that's how I ended up with that. But lovely formula, the Bobbi Brown. What is the it's the Luxe lip color, has that sheen, very comfortable, very pretty. The packaging is heavy. It's very, a it's like an A1 experience. I wish I did have it in a different shade because you know, I'm not always going to be reaching for this orange, but I do, I like the orange and I appreciate it. So it stays. Next up is Trinket from Sugar Pill. I'm pretty sure I bought this this year. This is like not that old. I really wanted to try Trinket. So if you're not familiar with Trinket, Basically what you do is you let it dry down a little bit on your lips and then it has like gold flakes in it that what, once you scrape off like that top layer of dried lip product, the glitter really comes through. These are really pretty. These are just like, this is like a fun take on a nude, like a nude lipstick. Like it's very fun. It's very pretty. I like it. I wear it enough. The only thing about Sugar Pill is that their formula dries out very quickly. Just very, very quickly. So that's just something to note. Some people don't get on with this formula. I don't think it's that bad. I like it. It's maybe one of like, I don't know. Sugar Pill is like a, such a, a brand, right? Where I think there's a lot of intrigue around the brand. 
and like people really sit on it because they don't know what's worth it and what's not. I like Trinket. It's something that I would potentially, if I dry it dries out, it's something that I might potentially buy again. Again, I think you might be able to tell by the way I'm talking about lip product that it is like not my favorite thing. It's not, I don't get really excited to talk about it, but I like having this in my collection. This makes me very excited. This is from Patrick Ta and it is the shade, she's hard to get. And I think he only has one lipstick formula and it is the absolute, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna swatch it here cause I like it so much. I just wanna see more of it. The best pink. It's the best pink that I have ever had. And what's lovely is that Patrick Ta's formula is incredibly lovely, incredibly luxe feeling on the lips. While it is a matte, it is very comfortable to wear and it has amazing longevity for being just a cream lipstick that comes in a bullet. I don't wear a bold lip a lot, which is because again, I don't think it's my nature to be excited about a bold lip because I, I for the most part, do a very complex eye look, a very complex complexion look. So I normally just kind of leave the lips easy, but this lipstick is divine. And I bought, I think I bought this year, if not late last year. And I, I, I'm obsessed with it. I would love to wear it more. And I have, I've been having an appreciation for softer eye looks. So, oh, is that my face? Hi. So maybe I can incorporate this a little bit more moving forward. I also bought this in the midst of the pandemic, like when we were like, no one was vaccinated. So I was like, I don't know why I'm buying this, but I'm glad I did. All right, this one's gonna be a tough one. So this is something that they don't make anymore. This is from MAC, it's the shade Let's Rock in the MAC Grand Illusion lip glosses. And I know I said I wasn't gonna swatch lip glosses until later. However, here's the thing about this. It is maybe the prettiest lip gloss I've ever seen. It's highly highly pigmented but the gloss and the shimmers within it so it's like like a red gloss like an orange red gloss with green shimmer in it and i just think that's so beautiful i would love eyeshadow this shade like a red orange base with green sparkles on it there was a time where i wore this a lot like there's some usage right sometimes some of my lip products you're not even gonna see that much i i think this is an incredibly stunning product it's comfortable on the lips, but I did buy it a few years ago. So we're it's gonna do we're gonna do a smell test. It still smells like a MAC lipstick. It still smells like it still has that vanilla scent, but it's I don't see it in my collection much longer. Again, it's one of those things where I'm not excited about lip and but I bought a very exciting lip product and I do think it's very beautiful. There's just I can't it's just, it's such a beautiful product. I just can't, it's not in my nature to like get rid of it. It's just, it's so pretty. Okay, here's another thing from Sugar Pill. This is the shade Gravity. It's in their bullet lipstick form. I'm gonna swatch it next to Trinket because they kind of remind me of each other. This one's a little bit more sheer, but again, it's like a darker nude with glitter in it. Now, I'm going to take my pinky and kind of run my finger along Trinket so you can see that gold sparkle. Yeah, so that's like Trinket at its full capacity. And then this is the shade. I don't know why I felt like I needed both of these, but this one looks a little more lustrous. I feel like I haven't spent enough time with this one to make a decision, but I think I could easily pick one of the two to keep. Because if this one's more comfortable, I might keep it over Trinket, but it's very pretty, it's very fun. Again, I have this propensity to pick out a bold lip, even though very rarely am I, it's not that I'm not bold enough to wear a bold lip, it's just lip is not where I get extremely excited. Rounding out my sugar pill collection is, this is the shade Dropout. And this is my favorite of my sugar pill lipsticks, absolutely. It's green, which is definitely like, bold however <laughs> i talk a lot on my channel about loving green <laughs> and i love this it's so fun and grungy and whenever so i often pull it out if it i don't have a black lipstick in my collection right now but i i love having but i love black lipstick i pull this out and it normally does the trick and it's not you know black it's definitely green it's not even that dark of a green but it's swampy and it fills that grungy fantasy of mine 
whenever I feel like I want a grungy lip. And I don't know how I end up reaching for this green one more than these two whenever they look very, very easy to wear. This is what I would rather wear. And I think this is such a stellar color. I think it's so pretty. And I think it's very fun on the lips. It doesn't make my teeth look yellow, absolutely. But that's part of the charm of a green lipstick, isn't it? Now this one is from YSL. It is the Slim Glow Matte. This is the shade 203. It is a nude. I'm gonna swatch it up here because I guess I have another couple, I have some some other nudes going. It's good to keep, keep myself in check here. I think that's the Tom Ford one. This is very similar to the Tom Ford. So I, I got rid of the Tom Ford mini. This kind of fills that space. I like these, although it's just not reading very matte on my arm. I've worn this a couple of times, not the most times, not, but it is considered normally when I'm picking out a lip. Now, when we get into the Pat McGrath, that's where like things get a little sketchy. We might need to pare down. But as far as I feel like it's pretty, I wear it. I don't dislike it. It's a nude. It's, it'll, it will likely get used more, you know? That's a good, wait, good thought process. Okay, this I'm gonna get rid of, even though I really like it. This is the, I don't, I don't know what this product is. I don't know if it's a gloss. Anyway, this is from the Charlotte Gainsbourg collection with NARS. Um, it's a collaboration between the two of them. And so <laughs> it's a beautiful product and I like it and I've worn it quite a bit. But this is something I got in gratis my first year at Sephora, which was four years ago. And it was old then. Like it was, I think the Charlotte Gainsbourg collection may have come out right before I started, but I think it came out like a year prior to me starting. And this feels like something they just had sitting around. And then I got it in gratis. So very beautiful. It just stays liquid. It stays wet. makes your lips look very plump, which I, I wish I knew what this formula was. I don't know if they still make something in this formula in different shades. But it just, I don't think that this is something I need to keep around. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It doesn't smell, so. I also am wearing fragrance, so. Uh, I don't know, it could be smelling a little bit weird now. Now, now that I got it that close to my nose, I, I think, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we've had fun together. This is going nowhere. This is a product that I feel rather passionate about. This is from Dior. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. Where are you focused? This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is the shade Rosewood 12. And I love a lip plumping gloss. This one's very subdued. It looks like it's gonna be this like punchy color, but it's just, it's a little your lips, but better. And it plumps. I like the plumping agent in it. It's something that I would repurchase. I haven't had to, I received this in gratis, but you can see that, hopefully you can see that the like the 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 line of use goes down quite a quite far. So I am very confident that this is something I will pan should it stay in my collection and it's going to stay in my collection. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I received this. This was the birthday gift for Rouge people. I don't know if it says Rose Jewel or Pose Jewel. I really can't read the bottom. My eyes deceive me. This is another beautiful lip gloss. And in fact, I've mentioned before that I don't think Charlotte Tilbury is a brand for me. I, it's a brand I really don't know that I want to support. However, I, I like this a lot. <laughs> I like this a lot. And I think I would like the full size at some point after finishing this. I think I will think about this lip gloss quite a bit when I don't have it. Maybe I'll look for a dupe. The only thing about this versus like other lip gloss formulas is that I do get the white ring rather quickly with it. However, the impact upon first putting it on and that first, you know, glorious hour <laughs> with none of that white line is very special. I love this lip gloss a lot. And I like that it has enough pigment that it can be worn by itself. And it definitely, it's distinct enough to wear it by itself. It's, I just, it's a very beautiful product. And unfortunately, I haven't got on a lot with the things that I have tried from Charlotte Tilbury. So it, it's nice to try something from a brand and be like, oh, well, okay, so I like that. Next, we're gonna talk about MAC. So this is from, this is MAC and it's a frost. It's the shade On and On. Now, I've kept this in my collection because I think it's beautiful. That's so fun. What a fun, sparkly, situation we have going on here. Well, here's the thing, is that on the lips, I don't know if it's because of the texture of my lips, 
it just doesn't do it right and, and and as a topper it moves things around and it's like not really like even if i use my finger it's super gritty it's like it, then nothing happens if i use my finger and I try to shear it out on top of another thing like you're not getting any impact from glitter it, i don't know it's not something i want to wear alone because it's not enough and then whenever i put something underneath it it just lifts the thing underneath it and doesn't really do it so i'm gonna pass this one on this one's not not the oldest it's also, maybe I won't. It doesn't smell, it doesn't smell. These normally have like a vanilla scent. This one I can't smell at all, which is not good considering I just got back from a trip. I, yeah, again, I just, I, I can smell my fragrance, so it's not like I lost my sense of smell. But normally these, these have a very distinct vanilla scent. So here's, here's the deal. You know how you have friends where you're like, I'm gonna trust that you can use this responsibly. I'm gonna offer it to my friend Tiffany, cause I think she might like this and get some use out of it. And, or she can decide to throw it away. That's up to her. So we'll just pass that one along and call it what it is. And then this is Lavender Jade from MAC. Wow, I'm swatching like off camera. And so isn't that a fun color? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. And when I want a purple ombre lip, I reach for this, but I, how often am I doing a purple ombre lip? I don't wear it by itself. It's not a shade I would wear by itself. So it's one of those things that I think it's so pretty and I love it. And I like the formula of MAC bullet lipsticks. I know that's like kind of an unpopular opinion. I think I'd like to think more about it. Lavender Jade's a tough one because it's like one of the first lipstick colors that I ever fell in love with. Ah! I was very excited to have it at the time and when I was wearing a lot more color. The cosmetics, especially on my lips, I used to love lip colors like this. I just know how realistic it is for me to have now. Like, I don't know if it makes sense to keep. So I want to keep keep contemplating it. But I'm gonna go wash my arm so we can get started on Pat McGrath. Uh, we have some staining, we have some staining, but I think it's all okay. I'm gonna move those up, I'm gonna move these up here. So this is my <laughs> Pat McGrath collection of a lip product. Oh, I'm getting the table wet. My, I <laughs> didn't dry off my arm very well. Oops. We're gonna give, <laughs> okay, so, I did dry my arm. This part of my arm is dry. I just did not dry that part of my arm. So sorry about the wetness. <laughs> okay, let's go through. So I don't think they make this shade anymore. It's the shade Sorry Not Sorry, and this was in the Lux Trans formula. And it is like this beautiful mauve color. And I bought this, hmm, I think I bought this right around the time I started at Sephora. And while I, got rid of some of the other ones I got when I started around the time of Sephora. This one's a very special shade. I don't know why. I really like it. I'm very drawn to it. I know that that's like not the best use on a lipstick, but you're not going to see much better than that. Typically like <laughs> getting almost flat on that is like a pretty good use for me. Again, I like li lipstick is not my favorite. Lip product is not my favorite. So it's just not something I'm very passionate about, but I like this color. I think it's very beautiful. I just wore it on camera today when I was recording a different video. So I like this enough that I would like to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And I don't feel like that it has turned. There's no distinctly bad smells coming. And yeah, I, I like having this one. It was my first Pat McGrath lipstick that I ever bought. And I just have a fondness for it. These ones are all the matte trance that we are moving on to. So these ones all have a matte finish. This is the shade full-blooded. It's a beautiful oxblood shade. Now, I had some issues with this with being patchy the other day, the last time I used it, but I don't know what was going on because then I, I don't know because I don't find them to normally be patchy. It's a very pretty color. Very, very pretty. And I like to layer, like layer these for whatever reason. So this is the shade Vendetta. Which is a beautiful deep red. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, wasn't one of these a beautiful deep red? Blood one. Okay, those are different. But I was like a little bit concerned. Maybe the true red. No, they're different. I like a bold red lip. 
I do. But I would, I would, so I would use this as a base and then put this on top and make some kind of fun combination. So I really like these two. I'm going to be keeping them. I don't know that I'm going to get rid of any of these Pat McGrath lipsticks. So that's just for forewarning. So if you're here for like the declutter part, there's not much going on in the, the Pat McGrath department. So this is the shade Omi. This is one of the more popular shades. It's in like holiday packaging. I got it on a sale after the holiday season. And this is my favorite nude. And I wear this one a lot. Typically when I need a nude lipstick, this is what I think to grab. I'm gonna just pull out the YSL that we had out earlier and just see. They are not the same at all. The YSL has more of a pinky aspect to it. But I would say if I could only keep one Pat McGrath shade, it'd be the Omi because it's my favorite one. It just is the one I reach for the most. This is the shade McNemone. <laughs> I don't know, that color is just really sick. And it, it's, you know, I don't know. Those look actually very similar. Am, am I, are my eyes deceiving me, but does that one look sheeny? Is that also a Lux Trans? No. I think they're all matte, but this one definitely reads more matte. There are subtle differences in them, but they're very subtle. I can't even tell. Huh. Um, I'm gonna try these on my lips later. <laughs> do kind of like a back-to-back -back lip comparison to see which one because I don't know if they have a different look on the lips because on my arms they look very similar and I don't need both and if I can make a decision on which one I like more I might just only keep one but I'm gonna keep that for now because I don't know that's really weird they're both in the same range this is the shade flesh three and this is another very beautiful deeper nude and I like to layer Omi in the center of the lid with this. These are very pretty together. And I like to top it with gloss. That's a lip I often do. So I, at first when I got it, I only, this du this was a duo, they came together. I only really used Omi quite a bit. And then I opened this one up and tried it. And I have a, I really love brown lipstick. And this is, you know, essentially a brown. It has some nuance to it. It's not just straight up brown, but it's a very beautiful color. Very, very pretty. I love like a brown lipstick. I think that's so, I just think that's so chic. I think it's so cool. Now these were part of a trio. These were Pat's first attempt at a liquid lipstick. And it was like, you know, do lip art, do ombre lips. And I did, I did. However, I bought these around the time I started at Sephora. And I don't feel like they perform the way I remember them performing when I first bought them. And again, I don't think any of these, I don't think any of these shades came back in the new range. However, I've kind of used them all relatively recently as a last hurrah. And I really actually like Pat McGrath's liquid lip formula. I think it's very nice. And it's something that I would revisit, but the candy smell they have is starting to like turn. You can definitely tell. And they just are a little bit chunky and they don't remember them being chunky. I will miss this lip quite a bit. This is the shade Nightshade. I want to replace it. Like not now, but it's something I will want in my collection again. I have reds. I can get a bright pink, I think, from anyone. And I also have the Patrick Todd bright pink. But this is the shade that I'm going to miss the most. But these are all going to get thrown away because they're cool. Now we're to my lip glosses, my Pat McGrath lip glosses. Okay, so there's different formulas here. So this is, these are the Opulust glosses. So these are like the fully pigmented glosses. This is the shade Dreamscape. Honestly, what a fucking killer, killer color. And that, when I bought this, I really, I hadn't started wearing lip liner quite a quite yet, <laughs> like I hadn't quite gotten into lip liner until recently. And so this with a lip liner is just a killer. It's so killer. And then it's sister, which I don't like as much, is Glowing Garnet. And when I saw Glowing Garnet online, it appeared to me to be like a, a bold red, but it's not red. It's like a, 
I don't even know what color, like a maroon. And so when you want red, I thought I was getting like a sparkling red gloss and get maroon. It's not as exciting. It's not that it doesn't look great on the lips. It's something, I don't mind it. It just isn't the color I would thought it, it was gonna be. I'm gonna give this a short run, a little bit of a run. I think I'm gonna do like a purgatory style box. See what should stay, what should go. So Dreamscape stays, it's very pretty. I've used it enough usages to here, so it's not, like it's not getting loved. But Garnet, going Garnet definitely does not have that love. So I think we'll put that up here with these guys for a second. All right, and I think all of these are just the regular lip gloss formula. She has a couple different finishes. So let's go, let's start with these two. These are the first two I ever bought, and I bought them in 2019. So that's not that long ago, these aren't old. I wouldn't consider that old. Some of the, there's some separation in there, but that doesn't bother me. You just swish it around a little bit. Now this is Bronze Temptation. And as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. It's my favorite, it's like my favorite lip gloss. I reach for it quite often. And I like it by itself because my lip shade is not too far from that. And so it just adds this beautiful warm warmth, warmth to my lip. It's a beautiful sparkle. It's so pretty. And it's a, uh, luckily, Pat's lip shade, lipstick, lip gloss shades, like they change, they sometimes like permanent things leave. This one sticks around, which is good because this is perhaps my favorite lip product I own. I love the Pat McGrath lip gloss formula. These are a little bit different. They're not as comfortable as this. This is, uh, this is like a, a commitment. These are not as big of a commitment. They just wear very well, they're very comfortable, not sticky. I love, I love her gloss formula quite a bit, which is why I ended up with so many of them because it just is, well, I'm not a lip person. I did enjoy these and I was like, well, keep, keep getting what you know, stick with what you know. And so I have, and again, this, this, this one's not much longer for my collection as it is just running low. Yeah, we just don't have that much left. So I wanna love it. I wanna pan this. So we'll keep it we'll keep her around. And then her sister, Paraphernalia, is um not a shade for I reach as much not a shade I reach for just as much. But it's equally pretty. And every time I wear this shade, I get asked, what is on your lips? So I think I've secondhand sold paraphernalia there's like a blue sparkle in it and you just when the light hits it just so you get <laughs> just so stunning it's such a stunning lip color i i i don't know that this one is still around because i had recommended it recently to someone and i think i had trouble finding it for them because normally i just send the link when people are like what's that i just will send them the link this is so pretty and i have a strong attachment to those two these ones i have less of an attachment to but they are also all bought within the last year this is peach perversion which came out in a small little collection there was like a little peach collection that pat did now these i always pri this primarily is used as a topper there's just like not a lot of pigment but there's a lot of beautiful sparkle happening in there and it just layers quite well on top of like a lip product but you can see that the shine is there these lip glosses just really do it for me these lip glosses aren't going anywhere i don't know if i had to say that explicitly but now you know this is the shade future femme and <laughs> this really tickles my funny bone again it looks just like a clear gloss but there are pink and blue sparkles in there and i think it's easier to tell at least on camera you can see it in here but again great topper great topper shade when you're going pinky. Mm. And then this is the shade Flesh Fantasy, and this is just a nude lip gloss. Now, I don't believe that there is any shimmer component to this. Well, I'm not gonna, okay, I'm gonna define less hairy places because that's kind of gross. Like the way that just pulled on my hair is gross. I feel uncomfortable, but that's that. So if I'm doing fun, fun, fun thing would be like I would put on flesh fantasy flesh flesh three first top with uh omi and then top of flesh fantasy that is my lip fantasy 
This is Love Potion, which I talked about in a video and it was hiding in a purse. And it's very pretty. Again, like the other two ones, this one's more sparkly than it is pigmented. But I like to use it as a topper. There's like blue, like slight blue sparkles as well as like nude sparkles. So it's very pretty. And so I think like, you know, as I continue to use that bronze temptation, my love will just shift to one of the other shades and I'll use it up. Now this is from Dior. This is something they don't carry anymore. I got this in gratis at Sephora and it is lip gloss. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to just put it right here. And while I really liked this when I first got it, However, and I think it's a shame that they don't make this product anymore because I like kind of everything about it. And again, when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. Like in here, it's so sparkly and intimidating. And I think that's probably why it didn't sell because this looks scary. But then when you get it out, it's just a very nice purple light sheen. However, I do feel that this and this fulfill a very similar fantasy and I really just prefer my Pat McGrath to that. Like those are very similar. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna throw it away because I can't remember when I got it. I think it was, I got it very early on in gratis at Sephora. Like I think this has been discontinued for a while. So this will also be thrown away. Okay. I'm gonna keep the YSL one. It's just too pretty. It's, I like it. <laughs> I like the packaging. It's like luxe and I do like the shade. I would like to wear this more. So I think I'm going to have to just remember to keep it in the forefront of my mind whenever I want to red to grab that as long as it's, I need an orange red. Lavender Jade. How pretty. Um, I think I'm going to keep Lavender Jade. I don't know why, it feels important. It feels special, it feels necessary. Klein Garnet, it is very pretty. I just don't know how often I'm gonna wear it. And that's the thing, because I thought it was one thing and whenever I got it, it ended up being like a completely different color from what I expected it to be. And I think maybe that's probably, that might be why I don't use it. Not because I don't like the color, it's just that I have some resentment toward it. I'm gonna keep this. This will be in purgatory. I don't know when we will revisit, purgatory maybe i need to make a separate space or like find a box or something to put purgatory items in but it i mean it's definitely not getting the love it needs in my collection but i think i have emotional resentment toward it so we'll keep it for now all right that wraps up my lipstick collection Whew. That was a tough one for me to get through, everyone. That was a long video. I wasn't expecting it to be that long, especially as someone who's not a lip lover. So here's what's going in the bin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I am passing on these two to a close friend. And I'm throwing these ones away. Wonderful. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. We, I guess we're going to be on a decluttering journey moving forward now that I've broken the seal. Don't know how, when the next one will be. I do want to kind of reserve some for the new year, but then I also realized there are things in my collection that I would just like to get rid of. Like I knew I was going to get rid of these three. Like I, I, these are things I just instinctively know that shouldn't be in my collection anymore. And I just like need to move on from them. <laughs> the lip gloss is everywhere. Okay, if you like my voice and want to hear more of it, I'm on a couple of podcasts. There's a link tree in my description box below. Go ahead and click that. If you want to see me on Instagram, that's also a great place to look at me, but I'm Hope Mess Tom everywhere on the internet, which is just here and Instagram. I don't have Facebook. I don't have anything else. So those links don't exist. If you find them, they are not me. Like I don't have a Twitter. That's not where I, that's not where I enjoy the realm. So there you can find me anywhere in that link tree. That's me. That's me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one, friends.